Hello and welcome to a multi-day vlogmas. Let's dive right in. So we're going to get eat dinner, but this is one of the things we got back. Our little contraption. He broke the first one. Oh, there he is. Peep a wild Bax. Baxter! He's got to go to the vet tomorrow, so we got him more treats. Oh, hello, good boy. We stopped at Food Country and got a bunch of drinks. And then we stopped at a local pizza place. And we got all this, but let me unbox it and I'll show you everything. Slash, let me be able to put Baxter up. So that way he doesn't eat all of our food. So here we have a wild Baxter trying to get food. But Dylan got a meat lover's um, large stromboli with mushrooms added into it. I got a Philly cheesesteak plain. And then we got bacon cheese fries, which we already got into on the car ride home. No, Baxter, that's not for you. Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. I'm having a work holiday party tomorrow, so I need to make cookies. Dylan and I went out, we actually just got back, we had dinner, we went out and grabbed food. We went to Rose's and got Baxter some treats and a new leash because he broke his other one finally that will go into our redneck con contraption to keep him kind of in the kitchen but off the counters and stuff. We got him treats and then we went over to Food Country and got questionable pib because they're not in cans. They were in two liters, but I'm going to show you kind of like a little evening routine after all the chaos is gone. So we'll probably tidy up a little bit. We have loads and loads of loads of laundry on our bed that we need to kind of process and put up. We just finished watching an episode of Pokemon. We're on like episode, what is it, like six now? Nine. No, nine. So um, we're going to tag you along for a relaxing hopefully evening at the Delp household with Baxter, Dylan and me as we clean up and make cookies. But before we get into all that stuff, I'm actually going to show you a haul of what all we got. I'll show you in a later clip the black leash that we already put up for Baxter to be put in there. The first thing we got him is this pork hide, not raw hide, but pork hide. Um, ears, I guess. He is loving these so far. They're from the brand Doglicious. I've never heard of that before. Then we already gave him this, which he ate the whole chunk, I guess, already, because we don't see it anymore. But this is from the brand Pure Buffalo, and it is a 100% natural dog treat. And it is long steaks. And I've never heard of this brand before. Interesting. He seems to like it pretty good. We got this second leash, which is similar to what we got the first one that he broke. The first one we got actually was Cheetah. So this is green, potentially a little bit more masculine, if you will. But nonetheless, it still has like the alligator print on it. And then we got, I haven't showed him this yet because he'll probably go crazy. We got this from this company, okay, that nobody's ever heard of. And it is a beef center bun. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the centers look like so. So then the last thing we got is a six inch bone from Chompums, and it is a ribeye bone with slow roasted for flavor. And this was like $2.99. The oven is preheating, and just for perspective, we got one, two, three, four, five, six things, and it cost us $27.31. The most expensive thing we got was the two pack of bones. Now it's $5.99. Then that nylon leash that he's using was $3.99. Oh, actually the pig ears was $6.99, but that came in a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's kind of a rip off. Oh, well. 
But anyways, let's put up dinner and make some cookies. I'm going to show you a recipe for homemade peanut butter cookies. That's three ingredients in this vlog today. Dylan just gave Baxter one of his treats. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you like it? I don't know if he likes it or not. Oh, there it is. No good? You like it? So we have a small dilemma. We were gonna show a cookie recipe that's three ingredients, and I realized that I do not have all three of those ingredients. But I'll put a little recipe thing right here for you. Excuse me. And it is just simply one egg. It is a cup of either sugar or brown sugar. They're interchangeable, it doesn't matter. And then a cup of creamy peanut butter. Typically, I recommend Jif but it's whatever you want to do, but you bake that at 350 for about 10 minutes or so. Keep an eye, it just depends on how your oven is, but we don't have all, we have literally brown sugar, sugar, and the peanut butter, but we don't have any eggs. And we were just at a grocery store and I didn't even think about that. But good thing we have white macadamia nut and chocolate chip already. So we're going to make both of these and we're going to actually put them on a little Christmas tray and we'll just go ahead and get all of the stuff done for that. And if you ever make anything for people at your work or whatever, I always wonder how sanitary people do it or like are whenever they make food. Like do they like do lick the spoon and then use the spoon again, which I've seen done actually in office and I'm like, oh or I've had gone to multiple gatherings where people's hair has been in stuff. So whenever I do that, I always make sure that my hands are washed and my hair is up. So if you don't do that, think about it. Think about it the next time. Either way, I'm sure your cooking is wonderful. But ever since COVID, I've always been like, mm, that's questionable to me. But let's do a montage of putting these cookies in the oven and cooking them. Starting to think that I do things way too differently To take this seriously And all of the times that we said we'd go to therapy But still we never been, yeah, yeah But things don't change, they stay the same I've gotta go my own way 
something new On and on and on Talking all night long about that's ready to go to the vet. I put on his little bandana and I put on his little name tag. So that way, if he ever gets lost, they know to call me. Even though the phone number on it is wrong. So awesome. He wants to go outside, but I gotta get some shoes. So hold on Max. So this shows the vet. And Baxter went to get tested for Lyme's disease, which he did test positive for, but he got a shot and got everything he needed to, and he's doing well. We have a checkup in three weeks. So we're having an ugly, like, sweater party at work. So this is my sweater. I think it's from Walmart. He has to go outside again, but real fast before I take him out. This is what it looks like, and it, it lights up. Cute. So Baxter tested positive for Lyme disease. So he is been given a vaccine. Now he is getting his treat. Good boy. Okay, no. Are you gonna eat it? <laughs> God, watch well, him spend all this money and he doesn't even eat the treats. So we'll have to like I'll wrap it. Eat it. What don't you like? He got put on. Where's his regular food? It's in the bedroom. Why isn't this focusing? He got given this. It is a little chew that helps with fleas, ticks, and all that stuff. He has a whole year supply. Good boy. Anyways, so Baxter tested positive. We're going to trivia and it is PJ themed. So I'm in my Grinch onesie. I'm actually gonna put a jacket over top of it. But I have, I believe my last Shein order. Let's see if he takes it. Dylan put it into another little um, food container. Good boy. He loves this little canned food. He used to love it when he was like a little puppy and we haven't given it to him in a while, but we have a couple extra cans. But this medicine says that it has to be taken with food. So little Baxter is doing it. This is the little food. It is pedigree made with real beef. He seems to be liking it. Okay, back to regular programming. Before I have to go to, uh, is the lighting better here? I don't think so. Before I go to trivia, my Shein haul. This should be my New Year's Eve. Oh baby, it is. So, so here is my haul. Let's see if I can get the lighting better over here. So I got a dress, nails, and shoes, plus Dylan a, Dylan, a matching bow tie and suspenders Ooh, he looked up at me because he didn't know that i got all that but he did i got these fake nails and i'll link everything's already linked on my like to know it which is the life of swing but i'll link that in the description box so that way you can see oh my gosh these are beautiful Look at these shoes, they're clear. They actually have a little back little slab, if you see that. Oh my gosh. I actually almost got something like this for my wedding, but I didn't. Let's see if they fit. You like them? Mm -hmm. And my Cinderella? And then, this is the dress. Did I show you which dress I ended up ordering, Dylan? No. Mm. 
Oh my gosh. It goes like this. It is this one shoulder number. It's a midi dress, but it has, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I am shocked. I am thoroughly shocked, Shein. Lord Jesus, I hope this fits. I hope this fits. So imagine this sparkly little number with these shoes, the blue uh, stuff, and Dylan's suspenders. After, after trivia, I'll try this on. She is a beaut. It's from the House of Chic, actually, collection. But let's go check to see if Baxter ate his um, food. Oh, good boy. I'm so proud of you. But here is the fit. I'm actually gonna go upstairs and get a Grinch. I'm actually gonna go upstairs and get a Grinch pullover like a crew because it's cold outside. And also this kind of is not the most cutest, I guess, if you will. But we'll get it all figured out. But I'm so excited. Ah, trivia! <laughs> I'm not sure if I've changed in it. Small Victoria. Want to be in it? So real fast, this is my New Year's Eve little fit. Straight sparkles, detaches. I could probably cut this off if I didn't want it. Here we have a wild Talia, a wild Chum, and the most beautiful Grace. And then of course we have the goodest of good boys. Hey baby. He's been a good boy. But we're about to do a little mini gift exchange. Happy Vlogmas Day 15. Ooh. Hello and happy Vlogmas Day 17. Dylan and I are gonna go see the ballet today. And it is so sunny, I'm just gonna vlog like this. Beautiful angles, I know. But we had steak for lunch. And we are downtown, close to where the ballet's gonna be. And I'm gonna show you the ballet. My parents came up and we had lunch together. We drove separately and we're about 10 minutes or so to where we're actually going to be going to the ballet. So Dylan got apparently a dog. So our dog is wanting to steal this dog. He got it at work. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not crazy about it. I do admit. He loves it. No, he doesn't. He loves it. He wants to eat the toilet paper. He does. Oh my goodness. Who donated that? I don't know, but God bless him. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then he's got a pole that you put the toilet paper down in the back. Oh my word. So Look, he loves it. <laughs> Spoiled because of me. So I'm trying to go to bed. No, but you ain't. Somebody is. I can't go to bed. And somebody jump up here. And think he ruled the world because someone had him on here earlier. What? He only stood up for like a minute. He does be more. He he's being a good boy. He's being a good boy. Yes, good boy. Cargo my bags. Yes, good boy. Oh, yes. Stretch it out. Yes. <laughs> Let's go to bed. He's a cop. <laughs> 